How can Hello? I find you in, in the group Hello? of WhatsApp? Uh, Julio Yada. You can find Julio. me as a Julio Yada. Okay, okay. Perfect. Hmm? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How Good are you? Fine, 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 fine. Good, good. Try to improve our, our English. <laughs> yeah, okay, great, fantastic. Taking a band yeah. song. Always taking a band <laughs> to practice your English. Good, Julio. How are you, Giovanni? Well, good evening, Mr. Lopez. Oh, uh, I'm doing well, thanks you so much okay. for asking. How was your day, Mr. Lopez? Uh, it was good, it was good. Preparing classes, um, checking um, papers. Great, fantastic, happy to be oh, here. Oh goodness, that sounds yeah. a little bit tiring. Yeah. <laughs> Ivan, how are you? Marlene, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, good to see that you're here. Thank you, Marlene. You always got your camera. Michelle, how are you? Wendy. Great, everybody's getting in. Uh, hey, listen, I sent you the document. I hope that that make it easy for you to work. Uh, so if you can download it, but uh, if you can, could print it, so for you to work a little bit better, the more comfortable, that would be great. Uh, the listening parts, we will not do it over here. I'll send you the audios and, uh, and one of your free times, if you have free times, so um, you can do the listenings, okay? Because I want you to do it by yourself and uh, slowly, okay? Because here we usually make it in a big rush because of the time. So it's, uh, I want you to self-evaluate as well. Welcome everybody, good to see you. I'm glad that you're coming and that's fantastic. <clears throat> I will send you the audios. Um, I didn't send it to you because I, I didn't have enough time, but I'll send you the audios for the pronunciation, the conversation, and the listening, okay? For you to practice over there. And I got an, uh, okay, Michelle, thank you. But you're here, that's important. You're here. Are you ready? Yep. Ready, teacher. Okay. This is our last week, unfortunately, but I will try to do our best over here and uh, to learn something, okay? So um, it's one, it's 8.01 uh, here in my computer. I'm just... Okay, Oscar, thank you very much, but you're here. You're not missing. Okay, today we're going to talk about a little bit about the past or the future. About the past and the future. Let me ask you, do you believe that the past and the future are very much related or not? Is it related? Someone give us an opinion? Someone has an opinion? I think not. <laughs> uh, you think no? Why? Um, uh, let's... Because uh, the future is more related with the present and not the past. Uh, not the past. Okay. Thank you very much. Great participation. Uh, does anyone have an opinion or something? Yeah, personally, I think yes, I did. Um, personally, I think that every single decision that we have taken in the past mm -hmm. will affect our future. It's affecting our present and some consequence will be affecting the future too. Nevertheless, uh, I'm not talking about in general, just some yeah. things that are really important. But for me, yes. Uh, for you, yes. Uh, one opinion more, one more, and we continue.
Ajá, ajá, ajá. No more opinions about it or ideas? Uh, I think uh, there's some things that, that you you did in the past and, and they count in the, in the future. Okay. So mm -hmm. something that you did in the positive, past, but it counts for your future. In a positive in a positive way or a negative way. Or a negative way. Okay. So that, that's more personal, the, the, the thing that you're saying, right, Julio? Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll uh, remember that um, what I like at my goal of the class is to communicate. So, um, okay. Actually, a snapshot. Uh, making what is a snapshot? Making suggestions? I don't think so. Well, <laughs> let me see. Ah, uh, 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 no, it's not making suggestions. There is a mistake over there. I'll fix it later on. Okay. Um, what is the learning objective? Uh, 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 let's see. What is the learning objective, uh, Marlene? Marlene? Our teacher, I didn't listen to you. Ah, uh, you cannot listen. Uh, the learning objective. Everybody can listen? Yes. Yes, okay. Okay, uh, Joselina, could you, help, could you help me with the learning, the learning objective? Uh, uh, ask Marlene uh, Giovanni if uh, she can listen to you because might be her mic. Her... I'm so sorry, Mister. Actually, my connection is not well as well. I'm unable to hear you fine. Okay, Julio. Okay. Uh, yeah. Learning objective: talk about fifty years of popular faiths. Fates. Okay, we'll see what space is because I forgot to check it out. Oh, it's good. But okay, learning first. So there are some things that uh, you have uh, maybe known about it. Uh, so, um, well, so no, you are very young, of course not. And um, and Harry Potter, uh, what's the second one that we have over there? The after Harry Potter. Uh the Beatles. The Beatles. And the, after the Beatles? Pokemon. Pokemon. And Pokemon. And, and? Disco. And Disco. What is the first year that we have an A? I, I think Disco. OK. What oh. is the year? 1975. Uh, 1975. Okay. 1900. Okay. Yeah. 1975. Um, let me 75. tell you that. Well, yes. When we read years, we read it uh, by uh, how do you say how I might say uh, by by for example, we say 1975. Uh, 1991. 1869, 1771. Okay, we read it uh, saying we'll read the the apples, of, huh? by pairs. Yeah, we'll by pairs. Um, thank you very much. By pairs. Okay, we read it by pairs. Okay, um, and by pairs. So, for example, and uh, yes, Giovanni, I have a quick question. Once, um, Someone told me that uh, since the year uh, 2000, uh, it's okay if we read like 2023 and don't say like 2023. Yes. And I want just to make sure about it because I am a yeah. little bit confused. Mm -hmm. No, uh, most of the people say uh, 2023. But uh, you can say, it's, I think grammatically speaking is not correct. But uh, because most people say, uh, uh, to, um, I mean, 2023, 2010, uh, 2009, 2001, and so on. 
Okay, but number not a lot of people say say it like that. So, but I think it's possible, except that it's not uh, very much popular. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, the next uh, the next year, uh, what is the next year on literal C? Nineteen eighty eight. Eighty eight. Nineteen sixty four. Exactly. The uh -huh. oh, okay. the, Beatles. the Beatles. I didn't mark over here uh, correct answers because we're going to see it over there. And what is uh, the year? How how do you read the year? Um, the year on literal D. Nineteen ninety eight. Nineteen ninety eight. Yeah, oh, remember that the years we read it in peers, okay? It's, and uh, and it's not the topic over there, but uh, when we read, when we tell our phone number to someone, we say it one by one, okay? So for example, uh, my phone number that you have it over there is 7469090930, uh, okay? Remember that the numbers when you read, it's not the topic, but it's important that I mention it. The, the phone numbers, when you read it and you say, you can say zero, for example, I can say 74690930. And I can say 74690930. But I cannot mix it. Okay. So if I say, if I had two or three zeros, I had to say zero. It's on the first one. I say O. Oh, so I, I had to say O on the others. Comprende? <laughs> yeah? Yes. Okay, so that's the topic. So Harry Potter, when it was Harry Potter? 2000. 2000, I guess, right? We're going to find out later on. And what about the Beatles? 1964. 1964. Yeah. A very, a very good year. It's the year that I came to this world. <laughs> uh, teacher Lopez came on that year and um, was born. And Pokemon. 1998. 1998. And Disco? 1975. Yeah, it, it was 1975. I remember Donna Sommer and a lot of a singer. Are you familiar with any of these uh, things? Yes. Ah, okay. So which one are you more familiar, Xiomara? With uh, Harry Potter. The Rubik's Cubes and Hola <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. Excellent. So I didn't mark over their years over there because I, ha I have it over here. So, for example, the biggest toy uh, fad in the United States that was the Hula Hoop in, is introduced in what year? <laughs> Nineteen fifty-eight, yes. And the next one, let's see someone if um a uh Romeo, uh read the next one, the Beatles. The Beatles hit the music scene is time launching launching launching, launching Beatle Mania. Uh -huh, the uh, Beatle Mania in nineteen sixty-four. In 1964, uh, yeah. you launch a rocket, a spaceship. You launch it, okay? So, um, so but you launch something that it, it hits on the people over there. Okay. Uh, Sara Elisa, the next one, disco. Disco becomes the newest dance craze. 1975. Ah, uh, like crazy, right? So 1975. And let's see, uh, Melissa, Stephanie, more than the Rubik's Cubes. Cubes. 
whatever. Um, more than four. Uh, that Point four point five. Four point five million Rubik Rubik cube cubes are sold. Ninety eighteen. Nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty. Yes, nineteen eighty. I'm sorry. Um, yes, imagine it was in 1980. So at this time, oh my God. And uh, Sophia Elizabeth? Pokemon. Sophie? Luis Eduardo? Luis Eduardo. Oscar? Picture, I can do it. Pokemon. Sure, sure. Go ahead, go ahead. Pokemon becomes an, over, an overnight sensation. In? In? Sorry. In 1998. 1998. And the 1998. last one, who wants to read it? Go ahead. The Harry Potter series suits the nation. 2000. In 2000. In 2000. Remember that we say that we say in 2000. Okay. In 2000. Uh -huh. For example, the Ruby Cube, we can say, uh, we can say since, I uh, know it was earlier, it was earlier than 1980, because at that time was, were self, uh, uh, are sold uh, 4.5 million. Okay, so I think I got a question over there. Teacher. Yes? I have a question. And the Pokemon, the pronunciation, sensation, or sensation. Eh, this, what do you mean? The pronunciation, uh, yes, no, sensation. Uh, Pokemon, sensation, yes, sensation. sensation. Uh -huh. Okay. Over, overnight sensation. Thank you. Yeah, overnight sensation, right. And, and, uh, uh, Giovanni. Yes, tell me. Could you do me? Could, could, are you able to look for the meaning that's F A D S, please? Oh, yes, of course. No Thank worries. Thank you. Give me a second. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate that. Okay. <clears throat> Have any of these paths ever been popular in the country? What do you think? Eduardo, what do you think? I ah, know Eduardo is the one on oyente right now, o Oscar. Uh -huh. Any of these uh, have been popular in, in El Salvador, guys? Catherine Lisbeth, what is what do you think about it? Um, I think yes. Um, yes. Maybe Harry Potter and Pokemon and the Beatles in the past. Oh, and the Beatles also. Which one you like the most? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Harry Potter for me. It's my favorite. Yeah. Ah, okay. Harry Potter Adventures is a, it's a, it's a great thing. Okay. And Michelle, Beatriz, what do you think? Francisco, what do you think? Which one are you more familiar with? Hi, teacher. For me, <clears throat> uh, Pokemon and Harry Potter. Ah, it's okay. My favorite. Yeah. Ah, it, they, they are your favorite. Uh, okay, yeah, good. It's really okay. interesting. Ah, fantastic. Okay. I think for me, the Beatles, uh, well, not not anymore, but I was kind of fan of it. And uh, the Rubik's, I don't touch it. You know why. The Beatles is <laughs> really nice. Yeah. 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 They have great songs. And, and the Rubik's. The Beatles. 
Uh, oh, yes. And the Rubik, I don't touch, then you know why. <laughs> I'm not good at it. In fact, I cannot even start it. Okay, guys, this is an introduction that we have. Ah, we have. Oh, by the way, this is not making suggestions, and I apologize about it. Okay, so in um, the Snatch Shop, uh, there are some vocabulary over there that might be helpful for you. For example, the first one. What is the first one? Hit the music scene. Mm -hmm. And that's become, be, become, become known in the world of music. Uh -huh, become known in the world of music. And what is launching? Launching is? Starting. It's starting, yes. But also you launch a rocket, okay? So, but in this case, it's launching. And craze. A fashion that is popular for a short time. For a short time. Do you remember the uh, pantalones acampanado? Or have you, uh, or do you, uh, do you know about it? That they exist once? Very in the 1960s and the beginning of 70s, I believe. In fact, one of my uh, aunts used to wear that one, <laughs> the campana. Actually, teacher, these are come back. <clears throat> yeah, that was that was my wife telling me about it. Uh, they are they are coming back. Many young and girls were then. Okay, guys, overnight sensation, a sudden success. Okay, not expecting, but then it became um, uh, successful on, on the on the on the world. Uh, sweeps, sweeps the nation, and that's what is sweeps the nation. Becomes popular very quickly across the uh, entire the, country. The entire country, so. Okay, uh, Giovanni, do you find the word? Yes, I did it. Uh -huh. Odd means moda, tiempo de mucha popularidad u obsesión. Ah. ah, okay. So thank you very much. Well, I really appreciate your help. Okay, so that is the moda. You, you see, we are talking about things from the past, but many of them are still updated. And they might, be, uh, they might continue a little longer Okay, for a month, for months, for years, we don't know. Okay, but um, there are some these Ruby cubes. Uh, it will be interesting to know when they started, and they are uh, popular nowadays. So they started in the past, and they continue, and they continue in the present, and I'm sure they will continue. It's like Salvadoria's eating pupusas, right? <laughs> Not a good example, but anyway, okay, we. You started in the past eating pupusas, we still do it, and we will continue doing pu eating pupusas. Okay, guys. So this is, okay. What do you see in the picture over there? Let me see who, who uh, I'm sorry, see Hector Perez. What do you see on the picture over there? Tell me as much as you can about the picture. Hector? Uh, yeah, teacher. Aha. Uh -huh. As... Tell uh... Repeat the, the question, please. What do you see in the picture? Tell as much as you can about the picture to us, not just to me, to your classmates as well. I can see the the man is very exhausted. Uh -huh. and, the, and the woman can be read a story. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's reading a story. Okay. Okay. And uh, let's see. Melissa Stephanie, is there something that you can add with the, about the, the illustration? Uh, I see a man and a woman talking. Uh huh. Um, and the man is remember remembering something. Ah, he's trying to remember something. Okay, he's guessing. Okay, good. Okay, let's see what what is going on over there. Uh, hey guys, are you good at store at history? 
Are you good at history? Any of you is good at history? No, no teacher, I am not. <laughs> no, you're not. More or less. <laughs> More teacher, or less. Question. What do you need uh -huh. in order to become good at history? What do you need? What is have it, you... Is it missing the uh, word in this part? Uh-huh. You need a good memory. You need memory? Okay, what else? A lot of reading. <laughs> a lot of reading, yes. A lot of reading. You know, it's important to read, guys, because uh, besides you learn something about the uh, history or topics or real good topics, um, you become more um, fluently, you know more vocabulary, you learn how to express. Uh, well, there are a lot of things. Um, uh, right now, for for example, I I am reading the last the last of the Mohicans and uh, and reading and, and and listening because there are a lot of ebooks over there that you can use. Okay, and um, do you like history? Uh, at, uh, do you like it history? Do you like history at school? You know no. we call ah. Huh? No teacher. No, why not? I think it's, why uh, not? I don't know if the teacher was the guilty but the method of some teachers uh, make the the class so boring and okay. i think that was because <laughs> yeah because of that because of that thank you for and totally you know, agree with you Maria. <laughs> yes but also but also but also um it's important to read um a lot yes maybe that's happened but uh uh we said uh, okay so we're not going to stop uh, okay is Steve good at history? How many answers does he get right? Let's listen. Unit 10, the past and the future. Page 64, exercise two, conversation. I'm good at history. Part A. Listen and practice. Look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. <laughs> how good is this is the history? Is he good? She said that not the too good. he got no correct no answers. No correct answers. Yes, no correct answers. So he's really bad at history over there. He was guessing, but anyway. But, uh, well, what is important over there is, is uh, pay attention to the words that he's using. He's using scenes. Okay, since I won't go into play, but I start in a period point in time in the, in the past and continue in the day. And some expressions, some prepositions that he uses over there. Okay, so here we have the, you will be able to read it and uh, uh, to read it and listen and read. Page 64, exercise two, part B. Do you know the answers to the three questions in part A? Listen to the rest of the conversation. What are the correct answers? So, what are the correct answers Oops. then? Oops. Well, no can do. Uh, let me let me go real quickly over there. Now we're in senior time. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um,
Let's see if it is, is this one. Oh. Uh, my sharing is still? Yeah, yes, you need to play it. Okay. Unit 10, the past and the future. Page 64, exercise two, conversation. I'm good at history. Part A, listen and practice. Look. Here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. Okay, now I got it. Um, I'm really sorry about the audio. You know what's happened? I always got the audios. <laughs> And in order to put it, okay. Do you know the answer for the three questions? Say yes or no. We're just discussing. No. No. Sure, really. Me neither. No. Also, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry. Okay, but it's important that the thing that we how he expresses. Uh, the way uh, uses preposition when he say a year. He say in 1917, okay? And the other is he uses in also. And he, well, actually, and most of the answer he uses in, in 1965. Uh, and this is a preposition that we use for, so for a period that lasts. For example, he says for, for? 50 years. 50. For 15, 15 years. years. Yes. So, and also, this is a very common and very important word that we use. Since. Um, since, yes. Since Kennedy became president in 1961. So, it means that the United Nations started uh, in 1961 and is still available nowadays. So, so since and so that's that's the thing that we important over there. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let me let me play the audio again, and I will send you for five minutes to break up rooms in order that you can practice the conversation. But don't worry, I will send you the conversation, and you will be able to stop line by line and start practicing. Okay. So let me play the audio for you to listen and I. <clears throat> Unit 10, the past and the future. Page 64, exercise two, conversation. I'm good at history. Part A, listen and practice. Look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. 
Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. <laughs> he needs to read a lot. Okay, so I will send you for five minutes uh, in peers, okay, and play play the roles. I call it role play, okay? It, uh, you're not Marlene anymore. You're not Hector anymore. You are... Uh, you are Steve and Enma, okay? So getting into those uh, those people over there. <clears throat> so let me just... Okay, please, please uh, practice. Uh, turn your cameras on that you can see your classmate. And so play the role of Emma first, and then the other is uh, the other guy, and then you switch uh, roles, okay? So let me just go over there with 12. As soon as you receive the, the, the invitation, please, it will be only five, uh, okay, uh, five minutes, six. You should be getting the invitation right now. Hey guys, and uh, two of them, I will send you and three of you. So please take turns over there, okay? Okay. Accept the invitation. Go on, guys. Eh, Romeo and Gabriel, uh, um, Pretend that I'm not here, okay? Just practice the conversation you. Take turns with Francisco as well. Please. Gabriel, don't answer, teacher. <laughs> okay. Francisco? Uh, are you there, Francisco? Francisco?
Not answer. Ah. Anyone. <laughs> no okay. responde ninguno. Ok, uh, you're Enma, I am uh, Steve. Ok. Uh, look, look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give you a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did, when did World War uh, began, begin? I think it began in 1917. Hmm. And how long has the United Nations been in the in existence? existence. Hmm. Since Kennedy became president uh, in 1961. Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980. So they were together for 16 years. So how am I doing so far? Mm, not very well. No one of your answer is correct. <laughs> okay. I am Steve Urengma. Okay. Uh, oh, you were Engma, I was Steve. Who? Uh, uh, no. I, yeah, you, you are Engma. Okay. Look, here is a quiz events on the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. And go to history. All right. First question. When did World War One begin? Sorry. Yeah, it's a little difficult pronunciation. Yeah. I think it began in 1917. Oh, and how long has the United Nations been in existence? Hmm. Since Kennedy became president in 1961. Mm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980. So they were together for 50 years. So uh, how, um, how am I? Am I? How am I doing so far? Not very well. No one of your answers is correct. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. Okay, uh, sure. okay. And Francisco, don't answer. Yeah. Well, let's go to Francisco, Gabriel. Well, let's go back to our salas. I think the time is about to finish. Okay. I oh. I I joined by in, on a group, but I I am only. Ah, uh, you were on uh, alone over there. Yes, sir. And sorry, so the person that I sent you you didn't connect, I guess. Everybody should be coming right now. Yeah, 10, counting. Okay, guys, it's very important that we participate when I send you in small groups, okay? Um, because you got the opportunity to discuss, to share with other people. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so the conversation introduces a expression of time. Uh, we use uh, uh, some expressions like in, for, since, uh what else four scenes uh but the most popular are four scenes and in but there are other time expressions 
that uh, help a lot to express about talking about the past, the present, or the future. Remember that there are some things over there. Okay, let me just, okay. Okay, do you know the answers for the three questions on the, let's see, let's check the answers quickly over here. Let's see if we got it. Page 64, exercise two, part B. Do you know the answers to the three questions in part A? Listen to the rest of the conversation. What are the correct answers? So what are the correct answers then? Well, World War I began in 1914 and ended in 1918. Oh, that's right. And the United Nations was formally established in 1945, following the end of World War II. And the Beatles? Well, they started back in 1960, and they broke up in 1970. So they were together for 10 years, not 15. Did I say I was good at history? Uh, I meant geography. <laughs> well, he has to say something, right? Okay. Uh, do you get the answers? Let me play it again. Page 64, exercise two, part B. Do you know the answers to the three questions in part A? Listen to the rest of the conversation. What are the correct answers? So what are the correct answers then? Well, World War I began in 1914 and ended in 1918. Oh, that's right. And the United Nations was formally established in 1945, following the end of World War II. And the Beatles? Well, they started back in 1960, and they broke up in 1970. So they were together for 10 years, not 15. Did I say I was good at history? Uh, I meant geography. Okay, what about the United Nations? It was established in 1945. In 1945. And yeah. what about the, what was the other question? Uh, when World War I began? Uh-huh. Uh, it, it began in 1940 to 1980. Wow. And then, okay. And uh, and the Beatles. How long they were together? Nin nineteen sixty uh -huh. to nineteen seventy. Years. Okay. How long they were years. together, Marlene? Ten years. Uh, ten years. Yes. Okay. Those are the answers. So World War One began in nineteen fourteen, and the United Nations has been existing since the end. Uh, the end of World War II since 1945. Like you say, and the Beatles were together for 10 years. From, uh, from what? What's the year? What are the years? 1960, 1960 to 1970. 1960, 1970, right. Okay, so there is, there is something like over there. So uh, in your, in your document, uh, could you please see if uh, you can, um, okay, uh, you can use this word to complete uh, the sentences over there? Let's try it. You got one. two minutes, three minutes, two. Okay.
And Ivania, would you like to help on the on number one? It's okay, guys, if we made a mistake. Don't worry about it. Ana Ivani, I guess. Uh, Ana Ivani, would you like to help on number one? Uh, Give a try. Don't worry if he commits an error. That's, eso es okay. perdonable. Okay? okay. Um, uh, World, uh, World, World, uh, World War uh, uh, I began uh, in during uh, in, in, in 1914, 1914 uh -huh. uh, from to uh, the 19th uh, over 70 years. Years. Uh, we have a go during four front two. Ah, that front should be with a, a, a um, small letter. Okay, in since. So check your answers, Ivania. Thank you very much. In uh, uh, number two, were possible two answers. Sure. In, yes. For me, it's front two in the number one. Ah. Okay, but in them we should have two years, not just one. Or on the second part, you mean on the second part? Yes, teacher. Mm. Sorry, the second part, uh, maybe. On, on, uh, in 1914, then uh, the 90, the 19s, uh -huh, the 19s. The 19s mean the decay from um, 1900 to 1900. Oh, by the way, that's read 1900s, okay? Uh, when you have uh, 1700, you read it 1700s, 1900s, 1800s. And it's when uh, you have, for example, you have 1901, 1902. But that's the 19. So in the 1900s. So that's, that's, uh, that's the year. Or during, you can say that. And the last one is over. Uh, over 70 years ago, okay? So, but that's okay. We're learning over here. Thank you very much. And the next one, what is the, who would like to help with the next one? The United Nations has been existence. Since, since 1914. Because one thing that you need to take in account that it, the United Nations is still over there. Okay, so since thank you very much and 1941 45, and what will be the, the, the other one from to the last? Uh huh, is the is correct, teacher? Uh, to the last, let's see, uh, you can say for or duty, oh, okay. the last 60 years. I mean, uh, the last that is that's started that's and still okay, in the last, uh huh. Eight, for the last years. 16 years or during the last 16 years. Either way. Okay. Uh, and number three, the Beatles were together. For 10 years. For 10 years. Uh-huh. From 1960 to From 1960. Yeah. Ah, okay, good. This is what I mentioned. I was mentioned on the first one. Okay. So this one was that I was mentioned over there. But don't worry. I'll, with practice, we got it on. Okay. Teacher, so, yes. Sorry. Marlene. But we can say the Beatles were together for 10 years since 1960 to 1970. Is correct or not? No. When you say things, it has to be only a, a one period of time, not both. Okay. okay. Uh huh. So, for example, um, I have lived in San Salvador since 1982. Mm -hmm. So from 1982 until now, I have lived here. So uh, since 1982. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank okay. You. But 
Thank you for your question. Good. Okay, let's see this one and referring time into the past. Page 65. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Referring to time in the past. A point of time in the past. When did World War II take place? During the 1940s. In the 1940s. Over 60 years ago. A period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? From 1960 to 1970. For 10 years. A period of time that continues into the present. How long has the United Nations been in existence? Since 1945. Since World War II ended. For about the last 60 years. Okay, a point of time in the past. Look over there. When did World War II take place? You have the, uh, three, actually one, two, three uh, different ways to say it. During the 1940s, it means the 1940 to 1949. That, has, that refers to a decade, but maybe it didn't last the 10 years. So during the 1940s. Or you can say in the, okay, is not the, 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 the 1940s or over 60 years ago. I mean, 60 years ago, older than me, of course. Okay. Um, and then we have a period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? Here we say from 1960 to 1960. 70 okay so there are two years so that's why over there and uh, over here you notice except that this is not capital letter uh, or uppercase letter is lower so there is uh some periods over there some i don't know how to call it but some periods because in mid between those expression those um uh, those uh, those words has to be something, okay? And uh, and then they look. So how is this one, Mr. Lopez? Okay, this isn't your material over there. It will help you a lot. Look at the following and charts and study them carefully. A, po a, pe a point of time in the past, in, ago, during. Look. Rock and roll, 1950s. Discos, disco, 1975. Madonna, from 1990 to 2000. Uh, 2000. So, so we said rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago. So I should uh, highlight ago. Uh, disco became a craze in 1975, and Madonna was on the music during the night, the 1990s. So it means from 1990s to 1999, more or less. For a and decade, you, teacher. For a decade, yes, exactly. Okay, exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, and we have the second one. So we have period of time that continues into the present, since and for. Okay. So this one is something that is uh, past, but this one is uh, desde que comenzó until now. So, oops. <clears throat> it's there because. And it says 19, what, what's the year? What's the year, guys? 1945. It's 1945 until now. So, so the United Nations has existed since 1945 until now. And the United Nations has existed for over 60 years. If you start counting, so that will be 60 years, a little bit more. Over. Over is a little bit more than 60 years. And, and since, oh, that's number three. It's not since a point of time. Example, since last year, since last Tuesday. 
I can use since, since I am teaching English. Since I was born. Since I moved to San Salvador, because I'm from Chalatenango original. So since I moved to San Salvador. So I can use since for a, a point of time. Since I was born, since I moved, since I studied, since I graduated. And yes, Francisco? Uh, I think uh, since is used um, uh, to show the beginning of time. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Since I, I graduated uh, uh, from the university, I have been teaching English. So I started after I graduated and I am continuing teaching. And, um, and for a length of time, for two weeks, three hours, for, uh, for et cetera, et cetera. And that's the last one. And yes, I need to attend. Uh, okay, we'll stop here because I need to take the attendance. Uh, I need to get punctual with the other group. And please answer quickly. Uh, Ana Ivania Guevara. Present teacher. Daniel Alejandro. Daniel. Uh, Eduardo Jose Melgar. Present teacher. Francisco Antonio. Present teacher. Gabriel Jose Hernández. Gabriel. I think he's there. Giovanni Stanley. I'm here. Héctor Iván. Present teacher. Iván Ebrahim Ramírez. Janet Carolina Rivera. <laughs> Jorge Alberto Rivera, Ramos, Jorge, uh, José Lino Alvarenga, I'm here, teacher. Uh, Julio César Campos, here, mister. Eh, Carla Selena Hernández, present, teacher. Eh, good. Carla René Delgado, present, teacher. Catherine Lisbeth Espinosa, I'm here, teacher. Luis Eduardo Méndez. Present. Marlene Elizabeth Valle. Melissa. Present. Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. Present, teacher. Neptali Antonio Mejía. Neptali. Eh, Oscar Alexander. It was there. Oscar Obdulio. Present. Eh, Romeo Vladimir Rosales. Present. Eh, Jos Sara Elisa Belloso. Present. Sofía Elizabeth Pérez. Wendy Paola López. Sofía and Wendy. Eh, Xiomara Violeta. Present teacher. And Jenna Carolina. Okay, Present guys. Teacher. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. I will send you the audios tomorrow morning. Okay. Bye bye. Take bye. care. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Oh. Good night, everyone. Good night.